Jedigaya Strong Smith was a renowned mountain man, explorer, and pathfinder who ventured into the Rocky Mountains, the American West, and the Southwest during the early 19th century. Smith was born on January 6, 1799, in Bainbridge, New York, but he grew up in Pennsylvania and Ohio. After receiving a modest education and a solid religious upbringing, he set his sights on becoming a trapper and journeyed to Street Lewis, Missouri, in 1822. There, he joined forces with William Henry Ashley and embarked on an expedition up the Missouri River to the mouth of the Yellowstone River. He spent the winter with Andrew Henry and was later entrusted with a message for Ashley, who had wintered farther downstream. During their journey, Smith, Ashley, and their fellow fur trappers found themselves in a hostile confrontation with the Arikara Indians. On June 1, 1823, in the ensuing battle, Smith gained recognition for his remarkable courage. Subsequently, Smith led a group of around a dozen men across the plains south of the Yellowstone River in search of new trapping locations. However, before they could reach the Powder River, Smith endured a severe grizzly bear attack. Although he survived, he bore lifelong scars from the encounter and chose to wear his hair long to conceal them. With the guidance of Crow Indians, in the spring of 1824, they made their way through South Pass, Wyoming. This particular route significantly shortened the journey to the western slope of the Rocky Mountains and would later become the path used by emigrants on the Oregon Trail. Partnering with Ashley, the expedition brought nearly 9,000 pounds of beaver pelts to Street Lewis in 1925, and Smith earned a share in the Rocky Mountain Fur Company. By 1826, Smith, along with David E. Jackson and William and Milton Sublett, acquired the business from William Ashley. In August 1826, Smith led a group of trappers on his maiden voyage to California, an undertaking that led to a confrontation with Mexican authorities. Their journey traced the Colorado River in pursuit of fresh hunting grounds, but they faced an attack from Mojave Indians, resulting in the loss of several men. Subsequently, they were guided by two Tongva Indians to reach the San Gabriel Mission, bypassing Death Valley, and eventually reaching a mission to the west of present-day Los Angeles, California. Mexican authorities soon apprehended Smith and some of his companions, but they were later freed under the condition that they would leave the territory and never return. In spite of their pledge to depart, the group ventured to the San Joaquin Valley, where they conducted explorations. Leaving most of the men behind in California, Smith, accompanied by two others, departed California in the spring of 1827 crossing the Sierra Nevada range into Utah. Unfortunately, one of the men lost their life during the crossing, but Smith and the remaining individual ultimately reached their planned rendezvous point at Bear Lake, Utah. Contrary to the Mexican authorities' admonishments, Smith made a return to California in July 1827, this time with 18 men and two women, following the Colorado River once again. Their journey was met with hostility at the river crossing, where Mohave Indians attacked, leading to the death of ten men and the capture of the two women. Smith and the other survivors then made their way to the San Gabriel Mission before heading north to reunite with the group they had left in the San Joaquin Valley. Surprisingly, Smith and his men were arrested once more but were inexplicably released, despite their earlier breach of trust. Although Smith pledged to exit California, he and his men continued to hunt in the Sacramento Valley for several months before ultimately departing. Over the following years, Smith's primary focus centered on expanding his fur company, steering clear of California, and directing his attention towards the Oregon region. In 1828, a band of Clawatsit Indians launched an attack on him and his men, resulting in the tragic loss of 15 out of Smith's 19 companions. Smith, along with three others, managed to evade the danger and eventually reached Fort Vancouver in Washington. By the spring of 1829, Smith ventured back to the upper Rocky Mountains, pledging to restrict his operations to the region east of the Great Divide. Over the subsequent year, he and Jim Bridger trapped the Blackfoot Territory. However, in 1830, he and his associates sold off the Rocky Mountain Fur Company. Smith briefly returned to Street Lewis, but come early 1831, he, alongside his partners David Edward Jackson and William L. Sublett, delved into the fur trade of Santa Fe. Departing from Street Lewis in April 
With a group of 74 men and 22 wagons, they embarked on this new venture. In May 1831, Smith and another man left the caravan to search for water, but did not return. The remaining party carried on, hoping to reunite with Smith along the way. Upon reaching Santa Fe, they encountered a Mexican merchant selling some of Smith's belongings. Upon inquiry, the merchant relayed that Smith had been attacked by a group of 15 to 20 Comanche Indians, mere wagon bed spring on the Samaran River, located south of present-day Ulysses, Kansas, on May 27. Regrettably, Smith's body was never located. Jedidia Smith's explorations played a pivotal role in opening up the American West, and his journeys marked several firsts, including being the first white man to traverse the future states of Utah and Nevada, the first to enter California via an overland route, the first to conquer the High Sierras, and the first explorer to reach Oregon via an overland route, traveling up the California coast.